Hello everybody, this is Drew Naller. Previously on Wind Waker, we finally got the Master Sword. This is a legendary blade said to have been used by the Hero of Time himself. Hmm. For some reason it kind of got a little shorter during the time between Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. That's a little strange, but okay. Must be magic or something, I don't know. Of course, we also finished the previous boss fight in the Tower of the Gods, or we finished the Tower of the Gods and then did the boss fight, you know. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading out of here, and then we're going to see what happened in Hyrule Castle, or see the, the enemies that are now awake. Now, what you want to do is wait for the action commands, as Trigger Conroy calls them, I don't know what else they're called, and then use the, uh, the parry attack or whatever. Whoops. Oh, thank you. and then use a grappling hook on them when they're weak. Uh, you'll want this for something that we'll show later. I don't know if that'll be in this episode or the next one, but um, yeah. So it'll be at some point. Oops, that didn't give me the, there we go. Okay. Um. Can you please help me, Moblin? That would be great. Oh no. Oh, there's three of them now. Oh, one of the one of the dark nuts actually helped. And the dark one of the another dark nut actually helped um attack the Moblin. <laughs> How sad. Yep. That's kind of... Um, kind of cramped in there. Yep. <laughs> um, please? Yeah, there we go. Magic, okay. Oh. Okay. Now there's this one. Oh, two of them. Okay. Oh, now there's three. Oh, that wasn't helpful. How many am I up to? Uh, six. Okay, you know what? Time for a... Time for a regroup. Okay, so you can't have anything in your hands when you use the soup. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. 
You know, I'm gonna try to just... Oh, you know what's cool? Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know what's really cool is like, the Master Sword gets a glow around it when you're, um, when you're in Hyrule Castle and then I realize that's just, um, Oh, I don't know which one it is. Oh, that's, it's that one. Um, but no, it's actually not. Because of being in Hyrule Castle. Uh, like in Breath of the Wild. I was thinking that it was the uh, thing in like Breath of the Wild. See, the reason why you want to get, whoops, the reason why you want to use the, um, the, oh, I think I need to take out the sword. Oh, well that was easy enough. I think the reason why you want to use the grappling hook on them before they die is that they do one of those orb things and it's possible for it to get stuck on the edge, like up there or something. So, yeah, if, if that happens then you have to find another one to get the Knight's Crest. I think there's some... oh yeah, here's another one. Oh. Is that all of them? Nope. Oh, there's actually uh, one down here. One orb thing down here. Oh, yeah, there are some more enemies left. If you walk into this, it's a, like a uh, I don't know force field. Oh, I hear one somewhere. I think it's down here. No. Nope. I didn't know that there were moblin- three moblins! Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, here are some more enemies up here. There we go. Oops, I didn't use the use the thing. Oh, now he's just punching me. Okay, so this reminds me of um Yerahim's glitch where he tries to keep walking into the corner to get uh your sword. Now he's just shuffling along the floor. I, is that supposed? To, oh, n yeah, I think he's kind of walking. Not sure. Oh no. Oh wait, no, I did get the uh, thing. See, that's how they got stuck. And I couldn't get him in time before. I couldn't get the Knight's Crest in time before they disappeared. Oh, here's a... Moblin. That's weird, I didn't think there was one right there. Must have walked around and I missed it. There must be some more left. I'll go over here this time. I didn't go over here last time. Oh yeah, I forgot this one. Oh, and that's it. Yeah, I guess we're not going to be getting that thing that the, um...
the thing that we need to get. And as you can see, now we're in Hyrule. So um, if you if you look over if you look over there, that looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? Let's try to get over there. Does this sound good? Nope. There's a barrier. Fortunately, there are a lot of people, or there are some people that figured out barrier skip. Unfortunately, I'm bad at it. Actually, I mean, I've never tried, but I'm not good enough to do that. Plus, I want to actually play the game and I'm not speedrunning it. So, let's go back to the boat. Ah, here's the front and here's the main part of Hyrule in color. Bombs. That's a lot of stuff that's in the grass. So that's about it. That's a long ways down. Seems like Nintendo programmed the thing to just take a few seconds and then hit either the ground or a treasure chest. So it magically just goes way down through the floor and that's the end of Hyrule for now. And that's why I say to make sure to use the grappling hook on the uh, Dark Nuts so that you can make sure that you get the Knight's Crest because you'll want what they get you. So, actually, no. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here for now because I'm kind of tired. So, goodbye for now.